Hi guys, happy Friday. The lighting looks kind of... Mm. How's the lighting on here, you guys? So, I just got in not too long ago, right? And I'm on my way home from a very interesting day, second day, at my new job. Yes, y'all, I'm back to work. <laughs> I am back to work, y'all. That was a long-ass fucking hiatus. Three-month hiatus. And I am back. <laughs> Three months. Y'all, my last day of work was September 7th. September, my last day seeing patients was August 24th. And I am back. I started yesterday, December 2nd. It feels good. It feels good to get back. But anyway, yo, so I'm on my way home, right? And I'm checking my email because I do check my email periodically. And I got to laugh, yo. I have to fucking laugh at y'all. Beta white males. Let me come up about this and let me turn on this AC. Let me come up out this. Let me come up out my coat for a second. I think this shit is hilarious. If you ask me. But I'm very appreciative, though, of this email that I receive from this beta white male. Now, he didn't directly say he's a beta. But his words say everything, you know, his words, okay? And I'm reading the email, and I'm just like, it's kind of refreshing to get an email from someone. It's always refreshing when I get an email or emails from my followers, right, my, my viewers. Especially on a Friday, right? Because it's the end of the week. And for you guys who follow me, you guys know that I like to vlog, right? But when I'm seeing patients... Like, during the week is when I see them, usually. Sometimes I don't really have time to address your questions, to respond to your emails. Um, so, I wait till the end of the week, right, to address it. And I think this person knew to send the email today, okay? So, kudos to you, I must say, who sent this email that I'm about to read you guys. And I'm about to go in. Now, I feel like he wasn't disrespectful. But as I'm reading the email, I got my finger on the trigger. Because I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, this motherfucker come out the pocket wrong, yo. You don't have to worry about me addressing shit. But he was very calculated with his words. So I give him that. That's the only reason why I'm going to address it. Because I feel like, you know, a person try to throw some shade. But they really not throwing shade because they're really a fan of yours. And they really admire you. Because if it wasn't for that, if it wasn't, if that wasn't the case, right? He wouldn't be fucking messaging me. Goddamn, two and a half paragraphs and shit. Watching my videos. I think it's hilarious because in this email, I'm going to read you guys, you'll see that it's a lot of fucking projection happening here from this beta ass white man who clearly has an obsession with black superiority, clearly, but he's putting it on me because I'm a vlogger and I make videos. I'm like, I'm just a fucking messenger. Don't sit up here and be saying that I have an obsession when you clearly not only does he have an obsession, but he's so insecure. Yo, why are these beta white men? Why? Tell me why, you guys. Answer this question. Why are white men so insecure of themselves, yo? Like, y'all supposed to have all this privilege and power in our society, but yet you're so fucking insecure and you feel so inadequate. You're pleading for someone to stroke your little ass ego. 
It's pathetic. It's sad. But it's funny, though. Because I read between the lines. So, let's get into it. He sent this at 3.51 today. And he says... <laughs> Yo, that's how you know he in his feelings, y'all. I'm on a train reading it, my, this email, right? Because I check my emails periodically throughout the day. And I'm sitting up here reading this. And I'm just like, yo. <laughs> yeah, which I, wa I wanted to reply. I did not reply. But something in me, like, was thinking, like, damn, which, which video did he see? Because he's clearly dysregulated. He's clearly in his fucking feelings, y'all. Deep in his feelings. But she's, that's beautiful. I like when a man gets, like, <laughs> all emotional, right? Touchy-feely with his emotions. Um, But he has, like, yo, all these questions he's, like, firing out in an email. And I'm just like, what video did he see? Now, I've made several videos talking about black domination, right? And I think what it is is that he uses the words superiority and domination interchangeably or he just interpreted domination and what I said in that video about black men being dominant as being superior I mean whatever process he took yo led him to this right <laughs> as he was watching this video right I don't know which video it'd be helpful if you guys when you're responding to a video right that I made it's helpful if you include the link to the video or the title because it's like by the time y'all watch it because a lot of like a lot of my videos don't really be picking up like that until like weeks or months down the road right so y'all are watching it for the first time and I feel like y'all be late as shit my mind be somewhere totally different right <laughs> like Fast forward, yo. Like, I'm already in 2022, right? Today is December 3rd, by the way. But I'm just like, damn, what video got his ass hot? Says, where is the proof? This is the first line in his email, yo. <laughs> where is the proof <laughs> that black men have bigger dicks? That's just like, how is that your opening statement? That's how you know he just got off my video. I'm like, damn. I don't make my videos to trigger, but what it is, I get it. You already feel <laughs> insecure within yourself. So when I speak my words, it's bringing out of you what's in you. A lot of these men try to walk around with the facade like they're alpha, they're tough, they're confident, when they really be fucking insecure. And... Y'all make it so fucking clear. You make it so fucking clear. Why? Because, yo, these topics that I'm, I address as it relates to race and black dominant nomination and cuckolding and, and white beta males, like, this is y'all, right? These are y'all fucking ideas. Y'all come to me expressing your fucking opinion, okay? Your inadequacies, your insecurities. And I talk about it. Now, for those who are honest enough to admit that they have insecurities, I don't mind stroking your ego. I'll stroke your ego all motherfucking day. But he clearly is hiding his insecurities, right? Behind the, this defensiveness, this questioning line of questioning he's like where is the proof that black men have bigger dicks than any other race <laughs> ah, you know he's white right what alpha man has the time to even construct such an email let alone frame these questions like he wouldn't even have this, this wouldn't even be in his mind to be thinking this way. It's like you're looking for someone to confirm your own insecurities.
How silly is that? Like, think about it. You're looking for me to confirm your insecurity about your own little ass dick. But you're not alone, though, right? And that's how I know he's revealing much about himself. Because the way I can tell he's in his feelings, though. When a person's in their feelings, show, they totally miss the message. It like goes over their head, right? And they take what you say and it goes through their filter. So he is where he's responding to one of my videos through his own filter. You know, he's he's saying so much about himself. It's like he's he's responding right to my my video. And it's not really about what I said though in the video. It's about his response to what I'm saying or what I've said or how he interpreted it, right? That's what's, what it was really about because I'm just like, where did I say that? What, what video did I say that black men have bigger dicks? I have quoted you guys, white men, beta fucking submissive white men who make it fucking clear as day. That they ass got little ass dicks. That's the reason why they become cuck holes. <laughs> right? And they want to desperately bring on a, a black bull to fuck their fucking partner. To try to fill a goddamn void in their own relationship. Right? Then you take what I say and, and turn it as black men have bigger dicks. <laughs> but I do like, like, I like to have these discussions. Though. I like to entertain the topic because it's fun and it's sexy. So why wouldn't I like to talk about this? Is there some kind of scientific research on this? <laughs> Yo, someone commented on one of my videos and they did quote a research study. I'm like, stop, I know you fucking lying. <laughs> to support the claim that black men on average have bigger dicks. I know that study wasn't done in the US though because that would be un unethical and it wouldn't be a, like a, a scientific, like empirical study. It would be more like an informal type of observation. Anybody can do a research study. We can do a fucking... We line them up. You know what I'm saying? Pull them out. Line them up, right? <laughs> ah. But anyway, I feel like to me, that is insignificant. I'm not concerned about do black men. I don't give a fuck about that. First of all, my preference is black men. <laughs> it's black men for a reason. That's not on my fucking purview of... On my radar of, oh, do black men have big or do white men have bigger? Who has bigger? The fuck? That's y'all shit. That's white men shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, even the goddamn movie Moonlight, right? I think it's based on a true story. It took place in Miami. And the scene where they have these young black boys, like, in a circle. And they're looking over their shoulder. Comparing themselves. I'm like, yo. Some white people shit. We know white people shit, right? But they say it was a black director. But then when you do research, I think the director or the writer of that film is gay, right? So we're talking about looking at something through a certain kind of lens here. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no goddamn straight alpha black man give a fuck about the size of a white man's dick. White men be thinking about that shit. Let's make this clear. Why are you concerned? Why are you... Anytime you draw a comparison from yourself in, in the context of your group, right? Racial group, whatever. Economic group, whatever group that you're in. And you're drawing this comparison to another group. It creates this paradigm. It creates this dynamic. 
it, it's, it, commun it clearly communicates that you feel inferior, yo. That yells fucking inferiority. Who the fuck gives a fuck? He cares, obviously. He cares a great deal. Now, listen. He says, <laughs> you seem like a modern Francis Wilson. Can we uh, give credit to where credit is due? Dr. Francis Cress Wilson. It's a very prominent African-American psychiatrist here in the U.S. May she rest in paradise. <laughs> he says, you seem like a modern Francis Welsing, obsessed with genitals. Obsessed? Because I am addressing your, let's, let's be clear, I'm addressing your emails that you guys sent to me. But I am obsessed? No, you guys are obsessed. Let's be clear. You are obsessed. And that's why you fucking watching this shit. Because you are obsessed. You purposefully look for videos that stroke your own insecurities. That feed your insecurities. Don't project that shit onto me. Why would I be obsessed with genitals? white man's genitals at that <laughs> or even black man's genitals are you kidding me i made a whole video on like stop sending fucking dick pics so don't put that shit on me but i did quote dr francis crest welsing in one of my videos where she talks about the way to combat systemic racism white supremacy and she says, the black man doesn't have to pick up a gun to annihilate the white race. All he got to do is pull his fucking dick out. But this is his retort, right? This guy is retorting that statement, that quote that I made from the lovely, admirable Dr. Francis Crest Wilson. Because he feels some kind of way, yo. I triggered his ass. I get it, okay? I'm not here to fucking go back and forth with your ass. But like I say, these topics are fun to talk about. <laughs> but with no proof. Why do, you, why do you need proof, though? I don't need proof. I think you have an obsession. I don't need fucking proof. You make it out as if there is some kind of desire of all women to be with a black man. How did I make it out that way? Or are you interpreting that, right? That's your interpretation. I didn't say that. Everybody has their own fucking preference. But what is it about you that you feel like you need validation with this? Or what is, what's already been stated several times over across different uh, videos that I made? Like... <laughs> do we need to continue to re address this like I don't know I don't get I don't understand you have quoted birth rates as a sign of white inferiority that's how like yo that's his interpretation yo that's his like did I say <laughs> that birth rates are the reason why white people are inferior I stated the facts and you took that and you did what you wanted to do with it, right? And you made that connection in your mind. <laughs> That's why I think it's funny, yo. Like, I can just throw out fucking facts, right? The facts gonna line up and make their own argument. And then you take what you want to do with that, right? It speaks for itself, but he feels a need to defend himself. Why? <laughs> Why waste your time, yo? I could have sworn I fucking hit this button. All right. He says, this has to do more with the social and economic changes that are being forced on whites than POCs. Who are fuck POCs? People of color? First of all, let's make this clear. Black people or descendants of Africans, right? or African people, shall we say, are not the same as people of color. But anyway, going with that, though, what he said, 
say more, right? If you watch, I know you won't watch this shit because your ass is obsessed with motherfucking black superiority. That's what you obsessed with. You obsessed with black dicks, okay? And your little ass fucking penis. But respond to this same email that you sent to me and, and, and say more, expound upon that. You say, white inferiority has to do more with the social economic changes that are being forced on whites, i.e., for example, what? Where is the proof that a black man can get a woman pregnant easier than a white man? <laughs> what? I think it's interesting like I'm reading this and the whole time I'm reading it on the train I'm just like did I say that or that's what he interpreted yo when I talk about when I stated the facts right you guys can look it up yourself look up the birth rates by race I just say the fucking fact <laughs> that black people, we have a higher birth rate than white people. Then he took that, right? He took that fact. I didn't fucking, I just restated a fact, right? But he took what I restated, a known fact, to interpret that as meaning black man can get a woman pregnant easier than a white man. <laughs> listen what we talk about birth rate right that's a whole construct meaning there's a lot that goes into the construct of birth rate right when we're trying to determine what factors go into birth rate whether it's high or low right for any given race a lot of different things go into that but he went straight to it and, and spoke to fertility. A.K.A. a black man getting a woman pregnant faster than a white man can. I didn't say anything about fucking fertility. I spoke directly about the birth rate. He telling on his own fucking self, yo, in his own race. Like, he putting that shit out there. He said, what is driving facts behind this? <laughs> Are you trying to, like, do your own research. I encourage you guys, like, you got all these questions, yo. Just do your own research. Are you trying to say that just like Dr. He said, no. He says, are you trying to say that just like crazy Dr. Wells? <laughs> well, she, he didn't even pronounce her name right. That a black man's sperm is faster or somehow better so you study Dr. Francis Press Wilson's work, huh? <laughs> it's faster or somehow better or that a white woman's ovaries are submissive to a black man's sperm. Yo, he coming up with his own theoretical interpretation of this shit. <laughs> that's, that's all you, bruh. That's all you. But since you put it out there, Hmm. Hmm. Something to be said about the black man's sperm, huh? The way the black man's sperm moves. See, the white man already know this. Because I didn't say, he, he said, are you saying, are you trying to say? This is, these are his thoughts, right? Because if I said it, you don't have to ask me, am I trying to say? Because you would have heard what the fuck I said, right? So... These are his fucking thoughts. This is his process. But anyway, moving along to his second paragraph. Just more black nationalism trying to destroy the white race. Nationalism? I made it clear I'm not a fucking nationalist. I'm a goddamn pan-Africanist. What? But in his mind, though, obviously he has a bone to pick with people who identify themselves as black nationalists. So he goes on to say, the media pushes race mixing with black men and white women. Do you see that with white women and, I guess he meant to say black men? Uh, what? 
white men and black women. Is that what he's trying to say? He said the media pushes race mixing with black men and white women. Do you see that with white men and black? Yeah, <laughs> it's with. It doesn't matter the direction or the composition. They push interracial fucking dating and marriage. That's nothing new. He says, no, you don't. Yes, you do. It will be racist if someone encouraged that on black women. People don't even know what fuck racist means. What racism is. I just, I don't even know why I'm addressing this. Like, the level of ignorance, y'all. That's why I like to, like, engage with people who are fucking informed, shall I say. I don't want to say educated, because y'all think that that just means having a degree. Right? It's just, yo... You're white, but you don't know what racism means. See, people think racism is about, oh, I don't like you. Oh, I hate black people. What? That's not fucking racism, y'all. Somebody tell this fool what racism is. Then we can really have a conversation. How is it people like Dr. Welshing? Oh my gosh, please spell her name right. Are called educated. She was definitely off her rocker. Why push a narrative of forced breeding? I don't think she was pushing the narrative of forced breeding. Y'all, it's, it's funny though how people interpret things. They misinterpret things. I think that's interesting. He clearly doesn't know the spirit of Dr. Francis Christ Wilson to think to assume that she's pushing the narrative of forced breeding. Why? Because some white people did it back then. It's not right at all, no matter who it is. <laughs> no one is more superior than anyone else. Why call... So, when I made a video about black black men being dominant, I broke it down and specifically stated we're talking about genetically, okay? Genetically. Scientifically, okay? Go do your own fucking research. Don't argue with me. Argue with science. It is what it is. We're talking about genes. Dominant and recessive genes. I get it. You identify as white. And for me, yo, know, we talking about there's no race superior, no more one superior than the other. No, there's no such thing as white and black, to be honest. White. Who invented fucking race in the first place? It was y'all motherfuckers invented that shit. <laughs> Blame your own people. Before you come on here trying to G-check me. Blame your own people, okay? For creating these labels of white and black. <laughs> it's bogus. You gotta ask yourself. Go ask, You ask me all these goddamn questions. Go ask your own people. Like, do some soul searching. This is requires some deep soul self-searching, okay? Ask yourself, why would a group of people assign color? Right, which have meaning to them, meaning attached to those two colors, white and black. Why would they assign those labels to groups of people? <laughs> okay, then we can begin to have a conversation. See, white people are slowly getting woken up. That's what it is. They're waking up. And I get it. When you first have new information that comes into your mind, right? The small little mind that you have. And it begins to expand. But not easy, though. Some of y'all be fucking resisting this new information, right? You get confused. I get it. You have questions. You're like, what? How is a long time? I've been taught that white people are superior. And then 
here is some new information telling me that, wait, we're not? We're actually genetically inferior? Recessive? What? <laughs> Listen, don't argue with me. It's Friday. Don't argue with me. I'm not the one. Um, but we can talk about it, though. <laughs> I just think it's funny, like, looking into his mind, you know, the mind of a insecure beta white man. Damn. I don't want to be him. I'm just saying, though. If you're superior, you'll live in your superiority, right? You know a person feel a certain kind of way when they start to say, Oh no, nobody is superior. We're all the same. Oh, we're all the same, huh? Are we really all the same? Mm. That's why we look the same. That's why I have this kind of hair texture. And you have a different kind of hair texture, huh? Because we're the same. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why call whites racist when you are literally saying Black people are more superior. <laughs> How is it that a black culture like Nawabi and Nation of Moors not be considered dangerous for what their leaders have? See, he's telling on himself, y'all. I get it. <laughs> y'all consider us a threat. That's the reason why y'all fucking created these goddamn labels. Black and white. And systemic racism. The system. That affects every facet of our society. Every layer of our society. Makes sense. Create your own little game. With your own little rules. Because <laughs> y'all know. Y'all know, right? The issue, I think, sometimes with the black community, though, is like, black people don't really know who they are. They don't. Not all. But a significant number of us don't. Because we've internalized this inferiority complex, right? This racism that the white man, the system has created against us. That has become the black person's reality. When you look at history, history of African American people living in the U.S., it all begins to make sense, right? When you look at the black person, the identity of a black person, the, the level of self-hate that some, we're not saying all, but some black people have, the ignorance that they have about themselves and their greatness and who they really are, it stems from many, many years of this brainwashing, this conditioning, and history spells it out very clearly how this conditioning has happened overtly and covertly. Okay? Some white people even really know their own history, though. They just kind of live in like, boom, in 2021. They don't know really what life was like. We're talking about America here, right? I live in America. <laughs> what life was like for black people living in America in the 1960s, the 50s, the 40s, the, the fucking 1800s? What did that actually look like? Right? And how that lifestyle that was created, forcibly cre created, for black people how that has shaped many generations 
after that. But it makes you wonder, like, the level of self-hate that some black people have, it comes, like, yo, know, this is a very dysfunctional fucking relationship, think about it, <laughs> that black people have in relation to white people, right? Feeling inferior and esteeming white people, like, as gods and the whole fucking racial conditioning that has taken place systemically and systematically through religion through the media, politics, right, education, healthcare, like all these different layers where racism is interwoven. Only a, only a race of people, right, who feels inferior about themselves, right, you project that onto who other groups of people, and then they fucking. I mean, you know, I think I feel like it's a human condition. I want to say like naively, right? Kind of absorb it or ignorantly absorb it, but in a way, it's kind of like ignorance. But it's just like the human condition, you know. The mind is very malleable, right? Um, that's why brainwashing is very easy to do. <laughs> like, people say people are um, resistant to change. Like, people don't change, right? They're kind of stuck in their ways. But people do change. Not by their own will, though. But you can shape anyone to become anything to be anything and that's just kind of what's happened and it's like you look at that dynamic between black people who worship white people and they worship white people on a subconscious level it's not like it's not like this blatant worship but it is blatant if your eyes are wide open it's like your eyes are open and you can, can see, yeah, you see it like as clear as day. It's like a picture where you see, when you look at like black people in society, you see like them on their knees, literally like <laughs> worshiping white people. I'm like how the fuck? <laughs> the hell? Um, like how do you, how, how the fuck you get here? Um. So he's talking about black culture like Nuwabian nation, black people who just have a love and appreciation and knowledge of self. Oh, that's, that's the problem. That's problematic. Oh, okay. I, I see what uh, cloth you're cut from. This guy here who sent this, I can see his cloth, yo. It's just, it's just shining bright as day. Like you can see what kind of cloth he's cut from. You got the uh, fucking audacity to fucking question black people who have knowledge of self. But I see how that can be problematic for you. <laughs> As a pilgrim. And you say that black culture like Nuwabian Nation of Moors is dangerous. <laughs> So, yeah, clearly it's dangerous. It's a threat. Anything that, any anytime you see, like, a group of people that has been historically racially oppressed, marginalized in society, you know, you know, like, this whole idea of white supremacy comes at the expense, right, of oppression of groups of people, right? So, what do you think happens if those people somehow who are oppressed gain knowledge of self? Oh, it's a, it's a threat to these people here. These white supremacists who have fucking attained their, their wealth, their status, their identity, their livelihood off the backs of these people, right? So, as these people gain knowledge of self and begin to rise... Oh, that's how that works. Okay. So it makes sense why you will be 
threatened, you perceive that there's a threat. Now, if your success, right, <laughs> your supremacy <laughs> as white people was not dependent on black oppression, it was independent of that, then our rising would not threaten you. Let's talk about that. You want to sit up here and talk about surface level. Oh, who has the bigger penis? Is it white people? Is it black people? Let's talk about some real shit. Nationalists like that publicly stated Caucasians were just mutated humans. <laughs> yeah, that's where that whole theory of Darwinism fucking come from, right? It's like a reverse psychology. That's Darwinism's way of defending against the already known truth. <laughs> That we were meant to serve them and white women are just vessels. I don't think black people are obsessed with white people serving. No. Like, when you know who you are, you just walk in it. You don't need somebody to serve. Like, that's that fucking white goddamn superiority complex, right? Because that's how y'all fucking operate. When you see movements like black lives matter of course it has evolved into something that a lot of people you know disdain right and they question but we're just talking about the bare nature of black lives matter and the black power movement and just black people just coming together and loving themselves and having knowledge of self and appreciating their their culture their history um just 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 being right that's really what the black power movement is really about just empowering yourself to just be <laughs> be a man okay be a woman not animals right that becomes a threat to insecure white people and so they assume that our rising which y'all term as black superiority or whatever is equivalent to white supremacy because how y'all do shit how y'all do y'all supremacy with the kkk and killing black people you somehow subconsciously think that that's what we own we not own that shit that's the shit that y'all own right so if you really truly take the time to study these different sects of black people they're not really popping up because we they've been around, right? They've been around. It's no secret. But you're just learning about them. So it seems like, oh, they're kind of just popping up. These different groups of people. And the Wapians. And, uh, these people who are studying the, the, the history of Egypt or Kemet. And, you know, so it's a whole many different sects, right? We don't have to go and name them. But you see them, really it's just black people gaining knowledge of self, appreciation for who we are. We don't have to do that at the expense of white survival. But it comes at the expense of white survival because y'all fucking survival has been to our goddamn detriment. It doesn't have to be though, but that's how y'all design this society. So you see how it's just a matter of time before it crumbles? Because it's not natural order of things. There's only a matter of time before nature restores itself, right? That balance, how nature is supposed to be, it comes back to its original balance, its original self. You fear that. So you know you done fucked up, right? <laughs> you know you done fucking fucked up. It's like your own karma is coming back to... Urgh! bite you in the ass right that's just on that's nature you got shit to do with black supremacy it's your own goddamn karma you 
says nationalists like i'm about to end this video he says nationalists like that publicly stated caucasians were just like that he's talking about the new wabians come on some publicly stated caucasians were just mutated human <laughs> that we were meant to serve them and white women are just vessels for black men to be satisfied and to have babies do you have a nationalist or pan-africanist do you as a nationalist or a pan-africanist believe that not a nationalist. I am a Pan-Africanist, though. If a white... I feel like y'all be wanting me to just restate what I've already said, like, several times over in other videos. Y'all just like hearing it come out of my mouth, huh? If a white person said that it would be racist, that's... <laughs> you know, racist is not a belief, right? Racism is a system. You clearly don't know what racism is, and you say you're white. You can't deny that the media is definitely tired. What? Is definitely in your favor. Listen. Oh, no, no. I'm about to end this video. It's interesting, though, that these are topics, obviously, that white people are obsessed with. Y'all are obsessed with race. And this dynamic between black people, white people. Inferiority, superiority. <laughs> shit. You really think black people give a damn about that shit? Black people don't give a damn. Most yo, most black people don't give a fuck about race or the shit that y'all be worrying about. We ain't thinking about that. You can see what black people care about. We just living. We just chilling. We cool. We like to have fun and entertain and laugh and eat good food and yeah, just live life. Despite, you know what that about black culture? Despite this whole backdrop of racism and police brutality and high incarceration rates or disproportionate incarceration rates for black people related to other races and all these social fucking disparities, these woes in our society that tamper along the lines of race. With all of that being the backdrop, do you still see how black people still continue to rise? Do you see? Because it's like you can't keep the God in us down. You can't keep the power. Like, power is power. You can't control power. Like, that's the thing. You, you try to put it in a box and manipulate it and, and cage it and, and enslave it. and No, you can't do that to nature. Which is very powerful. We we just we just be, right? White people can have all these privileges, right? Socioeconomically, at a, at an advantage over other races, and yet you y'all still motherfucking not satisfied. That's how you know the shit that y'all created is evil. Ain't even working in y'all motherfucking favor. You still here walking around looking at black people with disgust. Because we fucking having a good old time laughing and just proud to just be alive. Dressing nice with fashion. Eating good food. Dancing and fucking and, and making babies and shit like that. Just living life. <laughs> Doing what we are put on this earth to do. I bet y'all have a problem with it. Hmm. Let's talk about that. I encourage, yo, know, I encourage like this guy and other beta white men to like look within themselves. If you can find a soul within. Tap into it. Oh no, I'm about to, I'm about to end this video. I think I haven't said enough. I'm about to go. But please drop your comments below. Share this video. I'm gonna catch y'all later. I listen. I love y'all. <laughs>